Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be redoing a video I previously did that was very unprofessional. I got a lot of dislikes because it was something I whipped up right away and it overall did not turn out very well. I got a lot of comments saying they were confused and the instructions weren't very clear. So I'm going to redo this and I'm going to explain it in the very simplest way possible. Now, this video is going to be about how to hack into Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots for free to get free Wi-Fi. Now, first thing you're going to want to notice it know about Xfinity Wi-Fi is when you go to your Wi-Fi settings and you see one of these, one of those bad boys, that is a hotspot. Now, technically, normally they require you to pay for Xfinity Wi-Fi and be a customer with them, but there is a workaround. Now, I'm going to show you the method and then I'm going to show you how to work around it. You want to click on that once you connect to it and go, I am not a Xfinity Wi-Fi customer. Click sign up. Once you click sign up, it's going to tell you if you already used an hour pass because you get free hour passes, uh, but you can only use them once on your device. Now it will tell you you can use another one in 24 hours. Once you do that though and use it again in the next 24 hours, you cannot use one for a whole another year. So without further ado, this is how you work around that. Basically what you, all you have to do is trick the website into thinking that your phone is a different device or a different phone. Now this is easy, this is pretty easy. First off, you need to root your device. Once you root your device, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and download a MAC address changer app. Really, most of them don't even work, but this one works very, very well. It's going to look like this, and the, the link will be in the description. Click on it. Make sure you're already connected to Wi-Fi, and you're connected to the Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot. If you don't do that, it's going to fail when you try to change your MAC address. So, you're going to want to, and if that happens, just exit out of the app and go right back in. So, you're going to want to click Generate Random Mac. And once you do that, you want to make sure that when you do it, choose from vendors is set to any. Then select hard change. It's going to take you into airplane mode and turn off your Wi-Fi real quick. That's all right. It's supposed to do that. Once you get that message, it's all right. Click OK and let your Wi-Fi reconnect to it. And if it doesn't reconnect to it automatically, just go into your settings and reconnect it. Looks like I'm going to have to do that on my own. Sometimes it can be slow obtaining IP address unless I go into my settings. I apologize for the delay. This usually does not take this long. I have no idea why it's doing that. There we go. Then you're going to want to go right back into it. And do the same thing. And what you're going to notice is it's going to allow you to do it. Now the only drawback to this is you can only you have to do this every hour. You don't want to type in your real zip code because I noticed you get better connection. And then don't type in your real email address because when you do, you'll get a bunch of emails every time you do this. And it gets quite annoying. It's not a perfect solution, but... If you're willing or you're really desperate for Wi-Fi, it works well. Also, Netflix, if you have a Netflix, you can watch a whole episode of Family Guy, or two episodes even, and you know, that's 40 minutes, and then reset it. It's very simple to do, 
This has been Virtual Victory, signing off.